Welcome back into Live in the Bay. Darcy Drollinger is an actor, writer, director, choreographer, and producer. You get the list out, she does it. And if you have ever had a night out at the iconic Oasis, you've been sure to see them there. Now joining us here in studio is Darcy. Thank you so much for coming on Live in the Bay. Thank you for having me. Yes, it's so amazing having you here. And you look fabulous. Why, thank you. It's all faux Sachi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, I need to step up my game a little bit. <laughs> Uh, let's start off by talking about how you first got into drag. Um, well, I think it was when I asked my mother for a dress when I was three years old so I could be Mary <laughs> Poppins. Um, you know, I, that's, I, always, I always loved it. It was a lot of fun, but it was uh, coming back here to San Francisco from New York and um, opening up the Oasis where I thought, I'm going to have to make it a full-time job. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I, uh, there's no looking back. <laughs> You're here now, right? So speaking of the Oasis, tell us a little bit about your association with the club, for those of you who don't know, owner of the club, and tell us what it's all about. Well, we have opened the Oasis seven years ago. I started with uh, four business partners, and they all wanted to step aside a couple years ago. I bought them out, mm -hmm. and um, now it's just me running the ship. Um, uh, the goal of Oasis is a clubhouse. We want to be um, really a clubhouse for the community. We have all sorts of events from cabaret to nightclubs to... Um, As you could see here on the video. Yes. Okay. So many fun things. Even like nighttime dance classes. You know what I mean? <laughs> we, we We do it all. And I, I really want to be a community space in that way. And so it's been, uh, it's been a, a real joy to get to uh, participate and know so many people from the community. What inspired you to make it a goal to make it the Oasis, a community, like, like you just said, like you want it to be community centered. Why was that a goal for you? You know, I mean, I think that's always my passion. I, I've, I, there's so many different parts of my life that I, that I have, and I work with so many different kinds of people, so why not bring it all together? Mm -hmm. It was also out of necessity in a lot of ways. We were doing shows in other people's bars and theaters, and I realized there was no mid-sized cabaret in San Francisco. So instead of finding another place um, to do it in someone else's venue, why not make your own? And we exactly. did, and people really got behind it. And uh, you know, I always say to everybody, we can turn the lights on, open the doors, put the wigs on. Yes, I'm wearing a wig. <laughs> and, but it's the people, it is the yeah. audiences, it's the community that actually breathe life into the space. And so really, you know, Oasis is four walls. It's the community that makes it so fabulous. Yeah, absolutely. Community and the people are always what make, no matter what it is, that's always what makes something special. Absolutely, right? absolutely. And, and, yeah. and you know, our goal is to entertain people, and, and especially in these, in these hard, dark times, you know, coming out of the pandemic, it's, people need to laugh. There's a, there's a lot yes. going on. And, and I also really believe, too, if, you know, you inspire people to be a little more fabulous, um, if they're a little more fabulous yes. and everyone is a little more fabulous walking down the street, you inspire other people. And then... Yeah there's that much less room for hate and violence in your hearts and your minds. So spreading fabulosity is uh, very important to me and the whole Oasis staff. I love that. I, I might steal that from you. <laughs> you <should. laughs> because it's true, you came in looking gorgeous. I was like, oh, she inspired me. I need to put my good <laughs> lipstick on. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I also think it's always good to tell people when you think they're fabulous. Because you know so what, too. as much as I you think, think so someone too. knows they're fabulous, tell them, because we yeah. all need to be recognized. I, I completely agree with that. I've actually told my husband that before, like, especially when it comes to women. It's so important for, you know, for us just to uplift one another. And, Absolutely. You, and it's not just about paying a compliment if you don't mean it. You have to mean it from the bottom of your heart. Absolutely. But you never know when someone might need that. I, you know, it, it's so easy to be isolated nowadays, and we're all on our computers. Yeah. I think it's really important to, you know, recognize people, even like from your barista to your bank teller yeah. to, you know, someone on a Zoom call. Absolutely. Know. All right, well, Pride is officially, the parade is officially coming back Ooh, to the city. I Woo! know. It's amazing. Round of applause for that. Yes. What's going on at Oasis during Pride? Well, we have a, we've, I mean, we've had a crazy month, but we've got a really exciting whole week pack from tonight. We've got Legends of Drag. It's a new book that just came out um, that really focuses on the trailblazer uh, drag performers 
Um, and, and a lot of them are going to be there performing tonight, which I'm excited Exciting. for. Exciting. Yes, we've got the Frame Lines Centerpiece Party on Thursday. Friday, we have um, Jackie Beat and Sherry Vine from L.A. doing their comedy act. We've got Moody, which is a mashup party where they mash up the songs. You know, it's <laughs> going to be really, really fun. Saturday, Sancha, who is an amazing Latinx um, singer who was from San Francisco originally and now is world famous is coming and with a cavalcade of of stars that's our Saturday night party it's called Princess Wow a star lineup I know and on Sunday we have a we have a pool party oh, it's a pool party <laughs> we have a waiting pool um, and uh, during the day for people if they want to come by and then on uh, Sunday night we've got another great one Raja from Drag Race and Kevin Aviance is from New York DJ and it's gonna be a lot of fun Wow it sounds like you guys have a really fun packed weekend and for Pride. We're we're have, for the first year Oasis has a float in the parade. What? Amazing. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an eye out for it. Now, what's the theme? What's the theme on the float? Well, well, the theme of the parade is love will keep us together, and yeah. well, that's my theme all the time. Uh -huh. But um, we're we're bringing the diff some of the different um, groups from Oasis. Um, Baloney, which is a really funny burlesque show. Um, Reparations, which is um, Nikki's uh, all black drag show, which is a huge hit. It's been voted. Um, number one drag show in the city two years in a row, Princess, which is our Saturday night party. They'll all be on the float with me, and of course, you know, I'll be there. <laughs> Stop <laughs> waving. <laughs> Amazing. Now, before, b the last one I want to talk to you about, there's a beautiful mural that just came out. Can we yes. tell the audience a little bit more about so, that? So, you know, I have actually started a nonprofit arm of Oasis called Oasis Arts, and our first project was to create a mural. We found five mm -hmm. muralists that worked together to create one cohesive design that wrapped the entire building. The Leather Cultural District and the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence also worked at supporting the, the mural, and we just finished it. We had an unveiling um, on June 2nd, and it's, it's been it is fantastic. If people want to stop by, take a picture, it'd be great for their Instagrams. Wow, really? Yeah. It's so so beautiful. <laughs> I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see. Especially you said beautiful pictures for Instagram. Yep. There you I'm go. sure so many people there are gonna be go. there. Now, besides the mural and pride, you you actually star in Golden Girls. Can you tell the audience I a little do. bit about what they can expect <laughs> from this performance and what it entails? Well, you know, this is the Christmas version of Golden Girls. Now, we Christmasify the episodes, and they're parodies of certain episodes of the Golden Girls. I play Rose Nyland, and actually, fun fact, I was born on the same day as Betty White. What? I know, spirit animal. You were born, you were born to be great, that means. <laughs> yeah. um, and it is so fun. I, I do it with Heclina, Matthew Martin, and a um, whole lot of time. And we do it every, every December. Mm -hmm. um, it has uh, become a, a real tradition for people. We do Christmas carols in between the different acts. The whole audience sings along. It's it's really, really fun. We're actually going on tour with the Golden Girls. I heard. Um, yes, I clean it. We, are, um, we are going uh, to Boise, Idaho, Seattle, Portland and uh, uh, Palm Springs. Ah, well, well, good luck with the with the tour. That's fun. People can find out on thegoldengirlslive.com. Amazing. Now, we, before I let you go, we actually had someone come chime in with the viewer's voice. We encourage all of our audience to uh, chime in if they have a question. Howard from San Francisco wants to know, do you have any advice for somebody who is new in drag? <sighs> well, you know what? First, have fun. Don't, don't get stressed out about it. And do what you love, dress up, dress how you want to, and come to Oasis. Come it's, to Oasis. it's a really, um, like I said, it's a clubhouse, and we're, we're there for everybody, and you can find your family there. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Darcy, for joining us here on Live in the Bay. It was an absolute pleasure getting it's, to know you. It's um, great to be here, and if you do want to come to Oasis, sfoasis.com. You can find out, uh, find out everything. Amazing. So if you would like to learn more about Darcy and their upcoming show, just head to liveinthebay.tv where we will have a link to her site.